All right, team, it's Daiwa Ridge here from SpokenTruth.com. First things first, let's get it out of the way. Let's call a spade a spade. There's a spade. Uh, but also, check out my Christmas jumper. What do you think of it? Email me your thoughts. Let me know. I'm supposed to be a Christmas pudding, but not really. It's just a jumper, so calm down. Anyway, um, coming back down to planet Earth for just a second, I haven't done a Spoken Truth video this Christmas, but what I'd love to do is to encourage you to uh, do some live performances this Christmas, be it in school assemblies or uh, carol concerts or Christmas services, whatever. And I've come up with a spoken word piece called The Ickle King of the Crib, and um, I'm going to put up a PDF script available to download on the website with performance permission. And what I want to do now is just give an example of how I would read it so you can hear the intonation of the words, etc, etc. So here is The Ickle King of the Crib, and I hope you enjoy. Yeah, just another quick point. Um, I'm going to be reading this, but I'd really encourage you, if you get the time, to learn the words and to actually perform it. It'll be Lord's better. Um, so essentially, do what I say, not what I do. Yeah, sorry about the double standards there. Uh, but here we go, the Ickle King of the Crib. Hope you enjoy. Let me tell you about the Ickle King of the Crib. He commands more authority than every president who ever lived. Combined. Times a billion. He has more love to offer than a Led Zeppelin hit record. You know, a whole lot of love. The Ickle King of the Crib was before. Before the offset set off, before matter even mattered. He was the chief executive of existence. He was the architect who designed the plans to the Grand Canyon and the structural engineer who made it happen within a week. He even gave the planning permission. The king of the crib became small, ickle, and so vulnerable he didn't have enough strength in his own neck muscles to hold his head up. He became freckles, moles, beauty spots, and earlobes. The king of the crib became human, fully, but still king over creation, fully. The king of the crib lived and breathed so we can breathe in new life. A fresh start, a clean etch-a-sketch. He was before, is during, and will be ever after. Because the ickle king of the crib, by the donkey and the prezies with the shepherds and their tea towels, was just the beginning. Seen one on earth. The ickle king of the crib grew up. He was complete compassion. Not just born into birth, but dedicated to death and beyond. His sufficient sacrifice sorted my sin as the saviour sought after my heart. So the ickle king of the crib became king. King over death. King over my sin. King of my life. King eternal. Jesus. King of the crib. Jesus. King of my heart. So there it is, guys. Uh, check out the PDF. Download it. Would love you to do it. And let me know your thoughts. Email me some feedback on how stuff goes. Uh, DietSpokenTruth.com. There it is. Have a great Christmas. And, um, yeah. Love you loads. All right. In a platonic way, not in a, not in a weird way. Great.